Boom, so I went to um, one of the targets close by to where I live yesterday and they had Anakin Skywalker in stock from Clone Wars. So I'm like, oh yeah, so me and my boy win and I picked up one for me and one for him and you know, I have my own Anakin. I just think it's weird that it's a completely different head sculpt. So he looks way younger and has more of like a wide face, but still like a small sharp chin. But I understand why they wanted to make it look more like the cartoon character versus the actor. So the one from uh, based off episode three actually looks like the actor that portrayed Anakin, while this one actually kind of looks like a mixture of realism meets the cartoon to represent the Clone Wars Anakin. But my favorite part is that he's got the tunic armor and looks so cute and he's got the new body top, so it's a completely new figure because he's got the single swivels. Single swivels? Or is it? Yeah, it totally is. That looks cute as beans. So let's open this. I'm gonna use my magic powers. It's already opened. Oh wow, cool. Oops. Okay, that's okay. Cause I'm gonna put it in the recycling bin. So there we go. Noise. and everything let me go look for my wait did i open it no i have an episode three anakin skywalker but it's the archive series with the photo real face and i haven't opened it i kept it in the box but i opened this one because it's the clone wars one this is cute got a lightsaber on everything Ooh, cool lightsaber da -da -da -da. i like the cloth parts to the tunic what's with this part why is this Oh, I guess that way it doesn't, that way it, boop, it push up against the packaging. That way if someone tries to crush it, it's safe, it's safe. Okay, let's get this out of the blister. Clear up. Mm, so I got him out of the blister packaging and I put him in a super cool Jedi pose. And he's using the force push and he's got his lightsaber and he's ready for a duel. That looks so cool and it's so poseable. I was messing with it. Oh, it's got butterfly joints in there. Noise. It's got the awesome separate um, soft plastic for the, um, what is it? A shoulder pauldron? Wait. <gasps> yeah. 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 And um, so it's a separate piece, so you can rotate it with the arm. And since this thing is so big, it's supposed to cover it up to make it look seamless, and it does a pretty good job. This is a nice soft plastic, so it doesn't get in the way. You don't have to worry about it ripping or getting stressed out and like just giving out for a while. And then you got this nice soft fabric that's kind of stretchy, so it actually spreads all like as far as his legs can actually spread the skirt or the little. I guess it's like kind of like based off of samurais. Um, outfit or his like samurai robes type deal so that little bottom skirt actually doesn't hinder movement which is great and you can get him in all these cute poses and obviously he has a little hole right there that's because the lightsaber has a peg right there so if you take the lightsaber blade out you can have it with his lightsaber right there by his side which is pretty cool but oh my gosh i freaking love this figure it looks so great it looks so cool it's got a whole it's a whole new body sculpt I don't know if it reuses some parts, but uh, if it does, you I can't notice. I don't notice it because it just looks so good. And it's awesome because this is the first time we, I get a representation of Anakin like that. Because when these figures released, they had, some of them had basic posability. And then there were some with like super awesome posability. But since there was a three and three quarters one, and because the Clone Wars art style was like really slim and slender, they had the legs with the peg and they go into um the top of the the groin or the the crotch piece and because of that you have to you have to turn the thigh piece in order to do that well this one has these awesome peg um ball socket pegs that are attached to the side 
of the crotch piece and then you have um pretty much a dremeled hole or a socket on the legs so you get that nice movement where it's like you don't have to rotate anything to make kind of get the leg out you kind of just do it like that and like that and it's just nice you just it's just simple you get better fluid movement and you don't have to worry about rotating a piece just to like get them to be like <laughs> get him to do a flip and then he's like and then he just lands and then it's just like and then backslash where he like uses a force push and it's so fast wait because it's so tight and just it's kind of complicated because i'm using one hand but you know what i'm talking about you just Anyway, that's my review of this figure. It's freaking awesome. And this is going to go on my shelf, to be honest, because I'm running out of room in my drawers for my awesome Star Wars collection. It's ever growing, ever awesome. <laughs> See? Separate piece. It's cool. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do do do.